everyone, back again. I just got a little 10 watt halogen on the on the output here. Uh, so yeah, the, that's the between the grounding and the base of the coil, and uh, I'll go through that with the schematic. And it's virtually the exact same thing you saw before, um, and it's uh, uh, just running on two sets of 10 nanos on either side of the primary. Uh, just like is recommended, uh, that sort of configuration with uh, spark gap parallel and uh, two series uh, ceramics. Uh, they're going to need to be uh, probably submersed in oil though, just like Tesla was using. Uh, he found a totally superior dielectric uh, you know, strength. And um, so, anyway, primary. It's uh, hooked up. Secondary coil. It's about 35 turns. 37 turns, I think, actually. Uh, I wrote 35 just because that's what Tesla used, so set people in the right direction. Um, and uh, that was just based on the uh, surface area of the primary. So, just based on the skin effect, you want to try to match that surface area. Uh, not so much the general mass because the thicknesses might vary and the inside of the conductor uh, is wasted because it's just traveling on the surface uh, so that's how you tune the primary and secondary is just in surface area and then the magnifying coil extra coil uh, is uh, three to four times the inductance of the secondary and uh, that's what uh, the builders of you know popular Tesla coils like Nemesis and Zeus uh, were recommending for Colorado Springs uh, magnifier building you know tips. So uh, for resonance at around 1.05 megahertz, uh, the primary needs uh, 12.76 nanos, and I've got uh, the two tens in uh, kind of a series configuration. Uh, and without this capacitor, there is no light. It, it's really incredible how sharing the uh, both legs of the primary really, really improved uh, the out output. It went from you know nothing to to brightly lit. So um, it's uh, two turns. It's fairly heavy stuff. Uh, anyway. So I figure the 20 nanos that are in series like this gives me and ends up being about 10 nanos, and I need about uh, 2.7 more nanos to uh, to get that tuned, uh, you know, ringing just at 1.05 megahertz. I think I want to bring down the frequency though to take it out of the AM band. Um, so yeah, might do that. And you might have noticed I had the brown wire. Uh, for ground, and then I pulled it off, and then the light, you know, went down at least a third or something. And so these are just out of the ground outside. Uh, so that tells me that, you know, if I added more ground wires or a, a better uh, direct connection to the ground, then it would be that much more improved. <laughs> so we'll have to find that out. Um, Okay, so the the base of the whole setup runs to the light, and uh, you'll notice that these are just coupled straight together. And then same with the uh, the magnifying coil. Uh, these are the diameters. Uh, this extra coil is about two inch diameter. In case you're wondering there. Uh, and if you look at uh, Tesla's original patent drawings, uh, if you kind of judge by the the width of the secondary, it's about a couple times you can you can actually count it just by using you know your fingers going like that how much the ratio should be in uh, di difference in diameter. And then I've got those eight cans uh, and just because of the effects I get I figure uh, if it's resonant at 1.05 megahertz, it's uh, about 16 picos uh, worth of capacitance, 
uh, those eight cans. So, yeah, you can kind of use that as a measuring tool if you need to take off or add capacitance. Uh, so, pretty basic uh, driver setup that I've shown before uh, with parallel sparks, series caps, and uh, when the spark fires, those caps end up. Uh, this ends up being a closed connection and it just sort of oscillates uh, in the LC circuit there in between in between breaks when these capacitors are uh, charging and discharging so I think I'm going to try adding some more ground um, possibly go deeper but I don't know it's kinda you don't want to do too much of that in the city digging stuff up and whatnot. So I'll try some water pipes or something like that. Or maybe drive down like a six foot rod would be easier than digging. And uh, ultimately I heard, I've read that that ends up being surface area as well. You want to have, uh, uh, you know, Tesla said he buried a 20 inch uh, by 20 inch plate in the ground and still didn't get the effect on the spark arresters that he was looking for uh, telling him that his ground was still inadequate so it depends on I guess your location but uh, you might have a good ground being next to the salt water or you might have a lousy ground up in the dry hills or something uh, but then again Tesla did say that um, you know the mountain peaks are excellent for antenna locations and uh, how the Earth can be viewed as a perfectly conductive sphere, and uh, you know, just like it was one solid hunk of of copper, uh, the bigger the copper, the less resistance, and so that's what makes it all all work. <laughs> Not that I'm an expert, but I'm just trying to find out what I can. So anyway, I just wanted to see if I could get this light going, and it looks like uh, like it's doing all right. done that one before. That hurt more than usual. That was a really, really aggressive burn. So, anyway, there was, uh, there was, uh, you know, about 10 watts going there. Just kind of bit through my hand at high voltage. <laughs> And uh, generally when you're taking power from the base like this or, or transmitting to another receiver, there's not, uh, there's no spark display on the top uh, toroid. That's actually another energy loss if you've got that happening. Uh, Tesla tuned his in short circuit so that he could, you know, show sparks and uh, streamers going. You know, he said he's... he's personally recorded saying that uh, he's produced a hundred foot streamers and could easily produce thousands of feet of streamers uh, that being the, the lightning off the top so that could easily be done all you do is you take a wire and you connect it to the top load and uh, run it to ground or wherever you expect the the length of the arc to go and uh, you, uh, you tune it for for the wire attached to it and that ends up simulating an arc that uh, once you get it up to power and you know that f certain frequency and ring it uh, it'll you know arc more and more towards that uh, what you tuned for
So a pretty basic setup. Talk to you guys later.